Well, we're going to have fun. I want you to be open and honest. If somebody knock another person teeth out, we have some extra ones in the back. <laughs> we can loan you. California is a sanctuary state. And uh, in the last three weeks or so, uh, Orange County and many cities across Southern California has passed a resolution or taken on measures to support the Department of Justice when they come to arrest the illegal aliens rather than not supporting them. And the mayor of Oakland um, warned the illegal aliens that ICE was coming to pick them up. So a lot of the criminals really, they were able to get away. Also, I heard on the news this afternoon that Los Angeles County is offering or will be offering homeowners money to build homeless shelters in their backyard. Did you hear about that? Yeah. So what I want to do is introduce my guest. Uh, we'll start with Brian Williams. Oh, Brian is in the middle of this time. Brian is the vice president and chief operating officer of the Los Angeles Urban League. So thank you, Brian, for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. And to his for, uh, left is Arthur Shopper. He's a blogger, writer, and activist. He writes for townhall.com and Canadian Free Press. And we had a young lady here from the, uh, she was the deputy and director of California Immigration Policy Center, and Arthur ran her off. <laughs> In the uh, green room, he attached her and she took off. I'm sorry about that too, that wasn't good at all. Uh, so as a result, we have a stand-in whom I'm just meeting for the first time. Brian Eppin, and Brian is with, uh, from Cal State LA. He's a youth pastor of World Impact. Thank you for stepping in. He just came to watch it and ended up being on stage. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Author, so tell us um, how are you feeling about illegal immigration, uh, the uh, sanctuary state, what should be done? For me, Sanctuary state is absolute nonsense. This is as Orwellian as it gets. It is not sanctuary for anybody except perhaps politicians' careers. And it looks like Mr. DeLeon's career isn't in, in, the, in the strong stead he thought it was since he was in Westminster yesterday begging the city council to support his law. They rejected it. And uh, there were two immigrants on that, on that panel. And uh, yeah, you should applaud that. A lot of you were there. We need to secure our border. We need E-Verify. We need welfare reform. Uh, Paul Rodriguez, ironically, was the comedian. He was on CNN. And he even said, deport them all, even the kids. He said that on CNN. Sanctuary state is wrong. It's immoral. It's unconstitutional. Yes, it is racist. Um, I have to learn this from black Americans, how illegal immigration has decimated black communities. Media doesn't talk about this. Or in Harbor City, I met a black mother. And her son was gunned down. Corey Daly was his name. You can look it up in the local news. And she said to me, Black Lives Matter. I said, yeah, they do. It's not the police that are killing them, though. It's maybe the illegals, definitely the gangbangers. Last of all, DACA, no. No amnesty. It's not my fault. Your parents brought you here. You know, parents could break the laws all the time. Yeah, you should clap for that because... <laughs> you know, I'm fed up with our compassion being put on trial. Brian, where do you stand on the uh, uh, sanctuary state, DACA, and the wall, the big, beautiful wall around the border? So uh, I'm going to kind of go off the, the script that I had planned for tonight. And I'll, I'll start with telling you a little story. Um, this is about a uh, young woman I know personally, one of the, one of the dreamers who I personally know and have, uh, ex have experience with. Um, she is a woman who's currently um, uh, in her, in her mid-20s. She was brought here from Ethiopia from people who were missionaries. They claim to be missionaries, so-called missionaries. Uh, she was brought here at the age of eight. Uh, she and her sister, who was about one year uh, her senior. Uh, she was brought here from Ethiopia. Uh, her parents, or her adoptive parents, the missionaries, uh, never did the work to get her paperwork done. Okay, so she, um, uh, she went to school here, went to element finished elementary school, went to middle school and high school here in, uh, in the Bay Area. And, um, at, uh, at the age of 16, she decided to emancipate herself from the so-called missionaries who brought her over because of an abusive situation that she found herself in. And so after being emancipated, she, um, uh, she found that you know, she, couldn't get a, she couldn't get a legal job. Uh, she couldn't get a driver's license. 
Uh, she was kind of barred from the rights that we, most citizens take for granted. Um, and so, uh, so when I met her, uh, first thing I did uh, was introduce her to an immigration lawyer. <clears throat> and that immigration lawyer uh, helped her start the path toward getting documented and uh, becoming, hopefully, at some point, a citizen. So now, you know, fast forward uh, a year and a half, two years, she, uh, she now has a driver's license. Uh, she now has the right to work uh, legally in the state of California. And uh, she's on the, path to, on the path to citizenship. But her struggle's not over. So she has to worry, frankly, every, you know, every week, you know, whether the door, that, uh, the door to citizenship that's open a little bit now might slam in her face. And, uh, and that's the reason that, uh, that I and organizations like, uh, uh, organizations with, I'll call them progressive organizations, um, really take the side of DREAMers and uh, DACA applicants because we think it's, uh, we think it's fair that, that, people, that people who've had those kinds of challenges uh, have a chance to live the American dream. Uh, just, like the, just like the forefathers, foremothers of the people who are in this room who came from, all the, the, the ancestors of all of us came from other countries, some of us by force. So Byron, tell us about you and where you stand on this issue. Yeah, definitely. I work, uh, live life one-on-one -on -one with Latino students um, and African-American students. Um, and uh, I uh, do not agree that there should be a wall. Um, I, uh, I want this uh, state to be home for people, uh, for my friends who I dearly love, for the youth that I work with. Um, and for all of us in this room, and I know that what I'm saying is very uh, hard to hear for some people, um, but in my opinion, um, you know, I live life with youth. Um, I, I know their parents, and I know um, the struggles that they have. My parents were immigrants as well. Um, they're now residents of this country um, and, and seeking citizenship in it. Um, and, I, and I believe that these kids and the families that are with me uh, should continue living in the neighborhoods that I live in um, because they are part of what we are creating together and they are part of a larger family, which is um, what I truly believe in. So you're not for the wall, yes or no? Yeah, I'm not for the wall. So your family came here and did they come here legally? Yeah. Oh, they did? Mm -hmm. Are you an illegal alien? I'm not. Are you a citizen? Here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're born here, okay. Born here, yeah. um, how about you? Are you for the wall? Uh, I'm assuming you're asking me. Yes. Uh, I, I am. Um, I'm, I'm opposed to the wall um, for a number of reasons. The, the, the first of which is simply that it's, uh, it's, it's not efficient or effective in achieving uh, the so-called uh, objectives of the wall. And second, uh, there, there are many better ways to, to spend those funds. Uh, they're talk, we're talking about public money uh, that could be used for the betterment of the, for the, betterment of, of the country, uh, for infrastructure, for education, for so many other things, health care. Are you for the wall? Absolutely. <laughs> instead, of, instead of me saying something, why don't we start with a question? I ask this question every single time to these two gentlemen. Do you have walls around your home? I don't. You don't have a wall? I don't. You don't have a wall around your home. You, you mean you? Like, you mean outside? <laughs> outside my home? Do you have walls to define your home? Yeah, yes or no? I do. How about you? Uh, it, it's a silly premise. Why? So you don't have walls around your home? It's a silly premise. Why? I'm just not even going to entertain it. Sorry. Why? <laughs> I don't think it, it's, it's a silly, silly premise. A 13-year-old boy is dead. That's not silly to me. He's dead, executed what? by an illegal. The mm -hmm. average of 25 Americans a day killed by illegals. Mm -hmm. Killed by illegals. That's not a silly premise to me. Your your question about uh, having having a, having a, having a wall around, around your home. Listen, listen. We're not going to play this game. This is so. not a game. No, we're not going to play this game. Are you kidding? No, I I, re right. I reject your premise as irrelevant. Let me say to silly. Oh, hold, hold on. To, I'm that, coming that, down that, there. The national security hey, has anything. Hold on, to, hold on, guys. I need a bail. Uh, I'm going to come down to you. So slow your roll. <laughs> Why are you for the wall? And what do you say about the cost and? Oh. We could be using the money for something else. Okay, first of all, $23 billion is a drop in the bucket compared to the multi-billion dollars that this country loses dealing with illegal immigration, from the crime to the, depend to the drain on our public welfare, ser our services, the drain on our hospitals, etc. You know, Israel has two walls. Colombia has a wall to keep out the socialist Venezuelans who are trying to pour into their country. Did you know China has a wall? A nice big wall? And you know why they built it? To keep out the Mongolians who were barbaric. 
Walls work. You have walls for your home. And this country is our home. And I want a wall. <laughs> uh, follow up. What do you say to that, Brian? Uh, well, again, I, I, I stick to the I stick to the principle that um, uh, America is a country of immigrants, and we, uh, and and and, uh, and and so well, it, so so again, uh, America America is a country of immigrants. So so there so there so there so there, so there should be so there should be a path. There should be a legal path yeah. for people to for people to become citizens. And, and more and, and more to the point regarding the conversation today about DACA, uh, people people who were brought here as children, like the woman who I just described, had no choice in that matter. So the fact that uh, that an immigration policy might uh, cause her to be sent back to a country where she has no where she has no home, no recollection of that place, no no remaining family to speak of, uh, is 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 criminal. Is criminal and it's uh, is, is wrong is wrong headed, mean spirited. Let me ask: uh, if we don't put the wall up. And if people continue to come in, isn't it going to cost us more in the long run rather than stopping the flow now and dealing with what we have to deal with? Well, you're also making the assumption that the only way that people arrive in America is over the Rio Grande. Well, okay. well I'm talking and, and that, about and that is frank, And that is frankly not true. What do you say to the question, though? Is it in the long run, won't it cost us more to leave the border open rather than closing it down now and dealing with what's happening? The short answer, I believe, is no. Uh, people who are here uh, tend to be hard workers, tend to, be, tend to contribute to society disproportionately compared to, to what they get back from society. So my belief is that you don't make public policy based on, based on one or two or a dozen or a hundred anecdotes. You How about 62,000? You make public policy. You make public policy based on what's best for... Okay, you make, folks. So you, you make public policy based on what's best for millions of people in America, not for a few people who, who wear... Who wear yeah. Hold on, hold on. Um, is it racist to put up a wall around the border? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let me answer it this way. Um, Thank you. Hostile. Listen, um, no, that's fine, that's fine. No, she, she has the right to say. If it was your kid feels, killed, you'd be that's just fine. as direct. Hold on, guys, that's let's fine. get the answer. That's fine. Hold on, listen, hold listen. on, listen. hold on. Is it racist to put a big, beautiful wall around the border? I don't think it's racist necessarily. Um, okay. Well, here's, here's when what you I, say necessary, you mean somewhat necessary, or it's just not racist? I think at all? just the way you look at it. It's um, not racist. I, 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 my family came through that. Um, they, 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 you know, as much as for some of us in this room, and my, it's tedious to hear that. Um, my family went through that. My family walked through that plenty of times. Meaning yeah. that they came across illegally. They, they. Walked in illegally. Amazing. Yeah. And they're not in jail? Uh, once. Once? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, it, go ahead. And here's the thing. The, the, the fact that, you know, they walked in and, and, and the reason they, were, they left is because where they were living was not safe. It, it, it was not safe. Um, and, and they heard about this place and they came. And, and this place, and let me just say, like, this country is amazing. I think that's something we could all agree on. This country is amazing. Uh, there's amazing opportunities that are here. And uh, my, no, Mexico is not in a good place. Um, the, the, are, are there, why not, why not, why not, yeah, why not fish the country? The, the specific country there? Mexico, yeah. Um, well, uh, specifically Mexico and Guatemala, where my dad's from. Um, the, it's very corrupt. It's, it's, uh, it's very corrupt. Um, and, it, and, Okay, hold on. You, you, you're, hold on. Let, hold on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold on. Hold on. We are going to fundamentally... You, okay. I'm coming down Let him soon. answer, You've please. Never, hold on. We're people not changing in this room. room. We just shut hold people on. down. Hold on, Arthur. Hold on. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, people in this room have only gone to these countries for vacation. Some of you. <laughs> um, but that's, that is homeland. Um, and it is hard to be living in that context where uh, it's corrupt. 
and, and, and there's uh, violence going on in the streets. Very hard violence. Well, let me ask this. Um, Mexico is Mexico. It has men and women there. Uh -huh. uh, it, should we be feeling sorry for Mexico or something? Because you're giving us a sad story right now. I, I think there uh, should be a sense of compassion. But the compassion is to help you guys do something about your own country. Right. Rather than imposing on this country. We're not imposing on... The, here's the thing. Is, <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. Um, they came to this country, and they came for hard work, and they did it. And they are succeeding in life. And because of that, um, you know, they, they met here, and, and, and now uh, they, 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 have, they had offspring, and my brothers were born, and now I'm a college student. And I want to help uh, make this country better. Um, and it's been, um, get it's it. been, uh, had it, they not done that, um, I would not be in the position that I am now. Um, so had they not done that, um, we, you know, the, the, the violence that's going on there, it, it, you know, I would have been part of that. But truth is, is that I believe that um, since I'm in this country now, um, you know, I like to, uh, you know, help in any way that I can. I like to educate myself in any way that I can for the sake of uh, being part of this, you know, amazing um, country that we are holding. And um, the truth be, truth be told is, uh, you know, my... If it had it not been for my family coming here, um, I would have not been able to have the fruitfulness that exists already here. So let me ask you and uh, Brian, and then I want you to respond. Um, illegals have been coming in. We've been fighting this issue since the early 90s. And uh, we've been trying to get the government to shut down the borders, um, deport illegals. And I've noticed over the years that black Americans have been affected first and foremost when it comes to community, jobs, education, and, yeah, and a lot, of, a lot of the Mexicans coming in, they don't like black people. Over in Mexico, blacks are a, a second class citizen. They're second class citizens. Recently, Mexico deported two blacks out of its country to somewhere else. I want to know for both of you and then you. Um, does it bother you that blacks are affected most and foremost, I mean, first and foremost, by illegal aliens coming into the country. Does that bother you? Do you care about that? Well, I think it's wrong, you know, that they, uh, you know, that that exists. Um, however, uh, I truly am convinced that um, that shouldn't be the case for, you know, for us, because I think we, um, at least for myself, um, I treat whoever's in front of me um, as a human being um, and not necessarily basing them by the color of their skin. And so will you be willing to put a, will you be willing to put a wall around the border to stop that so blacks can have a chance? No. No? How about you? Uh, uh, as, as I see some eyes roll, I, 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 can, I, can, I can tell the crowd leans a certain way, and that's okay. Um, I think what, they go what, both ways. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, care, careful how you say that, right? You can't say that so, uh, right anymore. No, so, um, so first, uh, I, I disagree with your characterization of, uh, of, of Mexicans or whomever as illegals. Uh, they're, they're, hu they're, they're humans, okay? They're humans for starters. Uh, all right. So, uh, so, f so first, I disagree with the characterization of people that way. Okay. Second, I, um, uh, I identify with people who are oppressed, who are treated unfairly, uh, as opposed to people who, who are uh, merely afraid of change, afraid, afraid, afraid of others who aren't like them. So, uh, so, my, so my allegiance is to, uh, my allegiance is to, again, People uh, is treating people fairly. So let me ask all, are you, all people, all does, people, all colors, all races, all creeds. Does it bother you? I know, but uh, does it bother you that blacks are affected first and foremost in this country as a result of illegal aliens? In, in Compton right now, there's a major battle. Compton, South Central LA, East LA, and and uh, Highland Park. There is a major battle going on between the blacks and Mexicans because the blacks are feeling pushed out. Many of them have gone back to the south. Uh, construction jobs are taken over by the illegals. 
Does it bother you that blacks are affected first and foremost by illegals? Well, again, uh, you're assuming I agree with that, with that, with that principle. I assume that you made that clear. Okay. You don't. Yeah. Okay. So well, first, are you first bothered I don't agree with by the, the fact that blacks are affected um, first and foremost? Well, again, I, I think uh, I think the danger here is that people figure it's a zero-sum game. That if uh, if a person of Mexican descent has a job, that means a black person or a white person cannot have a job, and it's not a zero-sum game. You're not answering the question. It's, it's not. It's not a zero-sum game. Well, I, I am answering the question. I am answering the question. So, uh, so are Coke. you bothered by so. that? Does that bother you that uh, that they are hurt first and foremost? It, it, it bothers me that it bothers me when people of any sort uh, can't feed themselves, can't feed their families, can't live in a decent home. Okay? Well, are you bothered so, so by that, the so blacks? That's what, so that's what bothers affected. me. Are you bothered it, it, it by bothers the blacks me, being affected? It bothers first. me when black people can't uh, can't can't live the kind of life they want to live. It bothers <coughs> me when Mexicans, Hispanics, Guatemalans, but I'm all the, 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 about the, the blacks. Latinx community. Uh, LGBT, LGBTQ what? people. Hold on. Uh, any Hold of on. that. Any of that is problematic. That's wrong. That's I'm being wrong. Really patient That's here. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm being Hold really on. patient. Hold on. I'm trying. That's the wrong answer, buddy. Really good. Robin, I'm Hold on. Good job. Hey. What's his name? Who is this man? Arthur. Hold on. Okay. Calm down, Arthur. <laughs> he is calm down. Calm. This is, this is me calm. So, I. I want to guess so, you're going to so, so the last so thing Brian, I say is are that, you bothered uh, by that, that well what that I what I say people. is that a lot of people's anger is misplaced uh, so so because because uh, a lot of people's anger is misplaced is is, is my is But you're my not belief. answering my question uh, are you bothered are you hurt well, again I'm bothered I'm bothered when any, I'm bothered when, I'm bothered when, when anybody when anybody but suffers I'm not asking about problem. anybody Do you love white people Sure Okay answer this question like that <laughs> Good I'm safe <laughs> <laughs> are you bothered by that? Does that bother you that blacks are being affected first and foremost? Well, first I would have to believe that in order to be bothered. Oh, you by don't it. believe it's happening? No, I, I didn't say. I didn't say. I didn't say it's not happening. What I'd say. What I'd say is that. What I'd say is that I would. I would say that people at uh, at in the lower economic classes in America are generally hurt by a number of policies uh, that that are um, that they're not fa that are not necessarily this fair. Is, you realize you're not answering my question, right? Do you ever uh, appear I'm on CNN? <laughs> <laughs> Are you bothered by that? I'm very bothered by and, it. And why? Disproportionately, black communities decimated, fire bombings in Boyle Heights. LA Times just started reporting on this in 2016, 2015, maybe? This has been going on for decades, okay? Jameel Shaw, Jr gunned down by an illegal alien gangbanger, they were targeting black males. And he spoke at the RNC convention. You know, I didn't see a lot about those black lives mattering at the DNC, by the way. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't see that, but I did see you had Jamil Shah, the father, speaking on this matter, and how v Viragosa wanted to help this poor father who lost his son. But when he found out it was an illegal who had killed the son, Viragosa didn't want to talk about it anymore. So Arthur's, Arthur's used the term uh, decimation or decimate a number of times. So let, let me indulge me for a second. Uh, the, uh, the original use of the term decimate uh, ha had, to do, had, to do with, uh, had to do with the um, with, with, with Roman with, with Roman with Romans conquering other people, and 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 what the, and what they did and what they did was they killed hold one on. out of ten. Hey, hold on. Hold and on. what they did was they killed one out of ten. Ten, ten percent deci, et cetera. So, uh, so, 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 stick with me. So, stick with me. So, the decimation that I'm more concerned about is the decimation that's associated with uh, with mass incarceration of, of black and brown people, and, uh, and and poor people in general in America. That that's the decimation that I'm frankly more concerned about, as opposed to as opposed to as opposed to as opposed to the illusory as opposed to the illusory effect of negative effects of uh, of uh, Latinx folks. Uh, being here in America. Okay, I want to also speak to this too. You know, I have never once said Mexicans are killing black people. I said illegals. I hope I've been really clear about that because that also offends me too. I don't paint illegal immigration with a broad brush and say they're all coming from Mexico. We have illegals from China crossing our border. We have terrorists crossing our border from Pakistan and they want to blow us up, okay? So I want to be really clear about that when someone makes it sound I'm going, the Latinos, 
I've never said that. Illegal immigration is not a racial category or even an, an ethnic status. We had an Irish illegal who's going to get deported in a couple weeks. A Polish illegal who beat a dog is going to get kicked out of this country too. But strangely enough, you have an illegal named Zarate who, to, who broke into this country five times and kills a woman in San Francisco. Who am I talking about? Yeah. It's Stein. Yeah. And he gets off. Weird. But you, be, you beat a dog, you get deported. You kill a woman, you could stay. I hear a lot of talk about justice and equity, but we're seeing massive inequity with these policies that are promoted, like not having a wall, not ensuring American sovereignty. We're seeing more disproportionate consequences, not just with black communities being, we're being you know, wiped out. If you don't like the word decimated, um, you can call it annihilated, you can call it targeted. Okay, we can quibble about words in that regard, but there's a word I don't want to quibble about, which is immigrant versus illegal, but that's another story. You, if you want to talk about a fair and equal society, we have to have a country that's based on the rule of law. That's not happening in Guatemala. I just read about El Salvador, again, the murder capital of the world. Okay? Um, but the answer will not be an open border into our country. And the fact is, even people... The people want a better life, but the problem is, they keep, they're bringing Mexico with them. They're bringing Guatemala with them. A lot of gang members are coming here. A lot of the DACA kids are now MS-13 gang members. And they're killing, robbing, attacking, just all out of control. Um, should we deport those people? Um, I think definitely if they had caused some kind of harm um, or have committed a crime, then definitely that's something that um, should be taken care of. Um, I don't agree, oh, here's the thing, because what I don't agree is with the fact that, okay, one person makes a mistake, and then all of a sudden, all of us are, you know, like, part of that mistake as well. <laughs> and, and it may seem, and it, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. How old are you? I'm 21 years old. Oh, okay. Yeah. I appreciate you being up here, especially yeah, not I, I, knowing that you are being I appreciate that, yeah. Thank you. And, and he's a pastor, too. That's pretty admirable. So let me ask. Uh, the mere fact that they are part of a gang, MS-13, which is a very violent gang. It is, yeah. Should we ship them back simply because of that reason? Should we ship them back? Um, a lot of people in this room may seem, well, yeah, they're not our problem, right? Right. A lot of people in this room well, have are. seen that, right? right? Well, they are a problem. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so, 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 you know, like, what about those that are hardworking? Well, I'm just asking about the gang members right now. Uh, only the... Hold on. Right, that we, we shouldn't on. have people, period. We should have people... So should we ship them back, yes or no? Sure, we can ship them back. I'm sorry? You can ship hold them on, back. Hold on, guys. We can't hear you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what um. do you say? You say, yes, yeah, ship them all back? Those that are not contributing into I'm talking some about kind all of, of those who are part of a gang, MS-13. Right, which are, they're not contributing to any sense of, uh, you know, not contributing into the culture, they're not contributing into the job economics, they're not contributing in any way. Hold on, they're not contributing in any way, then sure. But for those that are, right, for what about, for those that are, then what do we do with them? Because they're also being shipped out too. That's good. So what about them? No, that, that's my question for the public, and you don't have to answer it. You can answer it, but um, so, so what about them, right? Because they're, they're in it, too. It's not like you guys pick one and one. Okay, you guys are all part of this gang, so you guys are shit. No, you, you know, the, they pick a, a badge of a lot of people, put them in a place to sell out. And in that badge, there are people that have families. Um, there, are people, there are people that have families. There are people that are going to go back to a country that never even, like, they grew up there, right, as kids, but they don't remember that. They're going back to a country that they weren't uh, so, really engaged in. I gotta this move. is all they've known. Hold on, guys. I got to move it forward. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's start here. Let's say someone break into your home. And they uh, break into law by breaking in. Would you walk them in and tell them, to, you know, here you are, stay. You might as well stay. You broke in. <laughs> so walk them home. Or would you arrest, have them arrested? Answer that question. Yeah, they broke into my house and uh, have them arrested. And why would you have them arrested? It seems like you're uh, trying to, uh, you know, compare that to people breaking into the country. <laughs> it is the same thing. 
It is burglary. <laughs> well, you know, why Why are they breaking into my house? Are they breaking in? Hold on. Oh, Wait, yeah. Hold on, please, 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 please. Are they breaking in because, one, they're trying to cause harm to my family, or two, because they're hungry? Are they breaking in because they are, one, uh, are they breaking in because, one, they oh, no. are trying to hurt my family, or two, because they are hungry? <laughs> Okay, you know what I'm saying? No. Do you know Do you know what I'm saying or no? I know what you're saying, but I don't agree with that. Okay, that's fine. Uh -uh. So you, you have your own bias, right. of course, coming in here as a okay. facilitator, yeah. correct? Right. This is why this debate okay. falls I mean, apart. I, don't, I, I mean, oh, I, I personally on, feel if you're going to be uh, yeah, hold leading on. this conversation, right. she's hold saying on. in an unbiased place because you're, they're, they're kind, you're, right. you're in a way you're people. trying to get an hold answer on. for us so that people could clap. Hold on, folks. This is why Donald Trump got elected, by the way. What you're saying right now. This is why, this is why hardcore Democrats, black Democrats voted for Trump. This is why Oakland, more people voted for Trump than they voted for Romney. Same thing in Inglewood, same thing in Compton. Republicans did better with Trump at the top, talking about the issue, Ill illegal immigration. We're seeing our communities run down. We're seeing crime skyrocketing all over the country, folks. It's happening in Maine. It's happening in North Dakota. Every state's becoming a border state. Uh, you know, and it's enough. And this is like the, the fundamental reason we have a country is so that we have rights protected. Government is supposed to be protecting us, and government isn't even doing its job. There's no debate there. Either the government does its job or we get rid of it and get another one. Yeah. I mean, um, come on. Let me ask. Um, Arizona Supreme Court ruled this week that students covered under DACA program can no longer receive in-state college tuition. Thank God. <laughs> What do you think about that? Well, my, my general belief is that uh, education is a good thing. And I think uh, education is a good thing for black people, for white people, for people who came into the country. That's not what I'm asking, who, Steele. People who came into the country. <laughs> so, you sound so, like my so cousin, John. I believe, I believe John. that education is a good thing. I, I believe education is a good thing, and the more education goes around, just like around, my cousin. Frankly, the I have a cousin is. who is a liberal Democrat. And when he and I on the phone, hey, I'm you're interrupting him. him. You go I, I'm asking him, where is he going? He tell me where he's been. <laughs> I want to know, is that a good thing that Arizona Supreme Court did by no longer covering the uh, tuition, college tuition for illegal aliens, for dockers? Docker. Um, I, I, think, I think states have the right to make, uh, make rules that are appropriate for their state. So that's a good thing? I didn't say it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I, I do believe states have the. I do believe this is states the modern the liberal right. mind, folks. There's no, no I do good believe or bad. states have the right. And, and in the same way that Arizona Arizonans have the right to make decisions about what's right for Arizona, I think California, 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 and our representatives have a right to make, so should, uh, make rules that make sense for California. Should, should illegal aliens get a free college uh, tuition? If you're referring, if you're referring to to uh, DACA uh, DACA applicants, DACA uh, yes. DACA kids, uh -huh. um, again, my belief is that educated kids are better than uneducated yeah, kids. Good. So, so, so the answer, okay. so the an so the answer is yes. So the so the answer is yes. So, so the an so the answer so the answer is so the answer so the answer is that so the answer is that people who are who who are in America, uh, who came as children under the DACA program. Uh, my, my belief is they should have the right to be educated in, in, in public schools. And, That's and, a good and, question. And, 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 it, and it can be paid for in the same way that, uh, that citizens have their educations uh, supplemented. So is that a good thing that Arizona did? It is an excellent thing what the Supreme Court of Arizona yeah. did. Absolutely. I want to touch on really quick. Okay, you're hearing this hedging. There's no good or bad talk. This is the modern liberal mind we're dealing with, where there's supposed to, the only goal is don't discriminate. Let's get rid of all of these distinctions and these conflicts, and we'll live in a happy, peaceful, wonderful world, and there'll never be poverty or death, and I'm sorry that won't happen until the Son of Man hits the Mount of Olives. Okay, the fact... Okay. Oh, okay, very good. Okay. You are. You're worse than me, though. Oh, I'm doing that, Grady. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm discriminating against you. I'm so sorry. This is, why the, this is another reason why the debate fails, because you have to have standards and distinctions, like countries exist, and they're different, and cultures are different, and some cultures aren't as good as others. Great. Like, I don't think that children should be sexual objects, and this is a problem in Mexico. I'm sorry, but it is. Don't take my word for it. Lee Baca, the former sheriff of L.A. County, did a dissertation on this. Very disturbing. LA Weekly printed this. Not LA Times, not Daily Breeze, not Breitbart. 
LA Weekly wrote about this. I don't want that here. We want children to be able to grow up and be strong adults and make decisions on their own. Sorry that's a lurid subject, but we have children who are being abused routinely by illegal aliens from Latin America. Really quickly, I understand, I'm, I, I think I understand where you're coming from when you were talking about the MS-13 situation, okay? Because you've got this kid is born in poverty or born in this awful shithole called Guatemala or, and they want to have a better life. Let me finish. I'm trying to, see, the argument that they're coming from is, well, this kid was in a bad status, so we gotta take that into account when we're making a judgment. And the problem is, that is creating the very corruption we wanna fight. We can't look at every person and the criminal behaviors they've fallen into and just give them a pass because of their past. That's not justice. That won't stop the corruption you wanna see. If we want to make Guatemala great again, I want to see Guatemala great again, sure. I want Mexico to be great again, but it won't happen if we're not taking care of our country and our citizens. It's because, look, the news won't report about this either. Mexican nationals are rising up and protesting their corrupt government as we speak. Yet, Jesse, he's an immigrant from Mexico and he's a Trump supporter. I can tell you this right now. I can tell you this right now, it may still be technically illegal to have a firearm. Guess what? Mexican nationals are getting guns now. How do you respond to or, that? If well, I was reading your mind wrong, question. correct me. To what he said. Was I kind of accurate? That's kind of where you're coming from, right? Not necessarily. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I see everyone out there. Um, it's, okay, so if in front of you was me, um, who is, which I am, um, who is uh, someone that is legally here. I'm a citizen here, right? I've never challenged that, by the way. Okay. I never okay. questioned it. Hold on. Uh, and, 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 you know, you don't know anything about me. Yes. You, you don't know. Except uh, that you told me what you were right, a pastor, right. 21 years old. Yeah, yeah oh, thank you. L.A. LA. Um, and then there's a, 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 and, and, you know, like, I, I, I have a, a, you know, a clean history. Like, I, I haven't committed any crimes or anything. Um, and, and you know, and I, and I, and education, like it's, it's, it means a lot to me, and I agree with you, Brian, in the sense that it's, um, you know, I'd rather have educated people than non-educated people. Um, I mean, I'm pursuing my dreams, and it's, it's an amazing country that I'm a part of, and it's an amazing community that I'm a part of, and, and, and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, and then right fine. next that's to me fine. is someone with a similar situation, right? Is pursuing education, it, it, you know, is. Uh, doing the best to be involved in the community, uh, learns, knows English pretty well. Um, I mean, just uh, someone that looks just like me. But the only difference is that uh, they are illegal. Okay. Okay. Now, hold on. Why is that? Why are you asking? You're asking me? Yeah, yeah, something? right, right, right. Okay. Right. So. Hold on, guys. Thanks. You have control over them. So we got 10 you? minutes and I'm coming down. Um, we have a. Yeah. Okay, okay. Whatever. <laughs> 10 minutes. Um, Cool. So you, what you're saying is, uh, you know, this person should get kicked out, go back to their country they're a part of, um, and then, and then, and then, what? Come back legally. Come back legally. Okay. Now, and I want you to know something. Excuse me. I have actually had this discussion with illegals. I don't talk a good talk to people I agree with, and then say something different to people who are here illegally. I tell them the exact same thing. I say, you have been blessed to be in this country. Go make the world a better place. Go back to your home country. Come back legally. We are a nation of laws. That's what makes this country great. We want to make it great again. It means restoring that rule of law. The so-called dreamers are adults now. Why can't they go back home and take care of their own or fix it up or whatever they need to do? Why not send them back home? Uh, so, some of them can and do, I'm sure. But but let, let me let me ask let me ask uh, I'll ask Art but uh, feel feel free to chime in uh, anybody who's interested um, is your contention that anybody who's who's in the states right now who's not a citizen who did not come here legally should go away is that your contention? Hey. No, you a notice how I said anybody, go away. Anybody, no, anybody, go back anybody to their everybody. home country. Go back to their home country. Yes. Okay. All right. So I gave you a clear answer. I, you need okay. to start giving us clear answers. Okay. Absolutely. So um, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, so, so let's so let's uh, let's dimensionalize that a little bit more. Okay. So, so let's say uh, our friend Byron here, his parents. So, is your contention that because his parents did not come here legally, they should go back to Mexico and Guatemala, respectively? Yes. Okay. 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 
And so What's the my, status on them, by the way? I mean, my they've fine, been here how many years and they're not legal yet? I, I'm asking. Uh, is uh, none of your business. Why? Yes, it is my business. This is my country. This is our country. I have a right to ask that question. Yeah, we'll keep it confidential. <laughs> That's offensive. Okay. I can't go to Guatemala and just walk in and, and just say, I want free education. I want a license. I want you to feed me. Uh, right, I want you to pay right. for my education. Uh, hold on. It is very much my business. Calm down. Calm down. Hold on. Uh, yeah, white Americans are under attack. Mm -hmm. And it, yes. especially the white, straight, heterosexual, Christian, 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 Christian Sorry, Jesse, conservative. White men of power. They have been called white supremacists. They have been called racist, because, yeah, misogynists, because they are standing up yeah. for their country. Is that fair? Are white people racist or white supremacists for standing up after all they built this country? Are they? Wow! Are they nice to hear that finally. Are they uh, white supremacists for standing up for America and wanting to make it great again? Well, well, again, your your question has your question has your question has a, a bunch of assumptions in it. That, that that so so tell me tell me the year that tell me the year that America was great. This country was great in 1861, 62, 63, 64, when 600,000 white men died on fields of battle to end slavery. Eighteen sixty six. Sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four. Those are just okay. some years. So so back so back when uh, more years so back, so back when black people couldn't vote, when women couldn't vote. Uh -huh. that, that's that's the year when America was great. That, so that's your contention. Assumptions, that's me. your contention. You're making the assumption that Okay, okay. Every aspect so back when black people of American couldn't government. Vote, Notice black the race card. Now now Notice now, the now this, it was great. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Give me a yes or no, and then I gotta go to uh, if, you, if you answer yes, if you ask me a yes or no question, I will answer it yes or no. So a uh, white, let's pray. White, hold on, guys. A uh, white Americans, white supremacists, for standing up for their country and want it, for standing up for their country. No, of course not. Uh, all, we got a clear answer. Thank you. <laughs> what do you say to that question? Listen, listen. Um, no. I'm not gonna start crying. <laughs> and if I did, um, it's all right. Yeah. Um, Are you a beta male? No, 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 no. I, I hear, listen. <laughs> okay. Um, so hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They they, they, this isn't really a conversation. It isn't. Yes, it is. It's just the it's outrage not. of being because, lied to our faces. Um, is no, this offensive. is a question. This is no, not no, a hold on, hold on. The race on. card being played against us. With all due respect, I, this isn't really. I mean, how are we going to get to a place in which we're going to talk about this? When we come in with your, our, your own, our own biases, you know, you guys are coming in with your own biases already. How are again, we going the modern to liberal hold on, mind hold on. again? Let me. Uh, hold on. A white people, white supremacists, for standing up for their country. They are not. They're not. Thank okay. you. No. All right. Good. Okay. T stand up for me. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, as a citizen of this country, or as citizens of this country, we are the proprietors of this country. And therefore, I think we have a right to say who comes into our country. And, um, and I don't believe that the state should be coercing citizens of this country to accept people to come in either for a permanent underclass to vote Democrat or for cheap labor. And yep. quite frankly, you know what? Um, I, I don't mind. I, I don't mind legal immigrants, but I really just don't want to pay for anybody. You know, I'm tired of paying for other people. That's and right. and there's there's a lot of there's a lot of evidence to suggest that um, in immigrant communities there's a higher welfare usage. And don't tell me that illegal immigrants don't use welfare. Yes, they do. There's yes, food they stamps do. and all kinds of other things. In addition, if you have an anchor child, then the, the benefits flow in. And I'm just tired of paying for everything. There's all the hospitals, the, edu the, uh, the education, and everything else. And that's stealing my private property. Yeah. So, yes. uh, so ma'am, may I ask you, do, do you have children? I'm sorry? Do you have children? No. 
Okay. Do you do you do you believe that uh, do you believe that uh, because you don't have children you shouldn't be you shouldn't be forced to pay for uh, do, do you believe you shouldn't be forced to pay uh, taxes that support schools because you don't have children and therefore you're paying for other people? You know, I have a little bit of a conflict with that from time to time because I think we're throwing way too much money at education and the more money we throw at it, the more the educational scores are flat. So that's another problem I have, and that's because Thanks of teachers' unions. Up, how about school choice? How about charters? How about homeschooling? I think the uh, best Our question, yeah. the best question about the wall tonight, uh, came from Jesse, and it had to do with uh, somebody coming into your house. It's not a question of do you have a wall around your house? Do you lock your front door at night? We can't afford to handle six billion people in America. I, I don't disagree. We can't. Uh, six billion people probably would not fit in America. I, I would have to agree with you, sir. Okay. Yes, ma'am. In going back to the whole, oh, it's not fair for the DACA people because, you know, they were brought here at a, at a wee age and they, you know, don't know their homeland originally. They don't know the language, this, that, and the other. My response to that has always been, well, when their parents brought them here illegally, when they committed a crime and made their children party to that crime, they didn't know this language. They had to assimilate. They had to learn the language, whatever uh, ability they can. So the children that came here, which, by the way, the majority of them are no longer minors, they're grown adults who can take responsibility for their actions now, they can now go and reassimilate. It will not be pleasant, it will not be fun, it may be hard, but it's the law. And we cannot pick and choose the laws that we follow, otherwise none of them matter. Secondly, because we are a nation of laws and a nation that has had a history of disenfranchising black people, black people, you and I, my brother, are the ones who will suffer the majority under these, as has been said, just because you were subject to your parents' malfeasance doesn't make it my problem, and it doesn't make you any less culpable. Once you become old enough to know right from wrong, you should have deported yourself and then tried to come back legally. California spends $25 billion a year on illegal immigration. That would build the wall. Just one go. year. But secondly, I want to say, I am 76 years old. I have lived in California for a very long time, and I know what it was like when I was growing up, and I know what it's like now. And it is not good now. We have, we, have, we, are, we have the most poverty in the country. We have the most homelessness in the, in the country. We have the lowest test scores in the country. Um, and this has all gone hand in hand. We have, and we have the most illegal aliens. It's gone hand in hand with illegal immigration. And it has also turned this one-time red state into a brown state. I mean, into a, a, a blue state. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It is the reason California is now a one-party state, and those of us who are paying taxes have no representation and no voice. Countries are not just shopping malls that you get to move to because you want to make more money in your homeland, and race is real, and if the people from South America are allowed to become the majority here, this country is just going to revert to South America. So you're not going to have your shopping mall anymore anyways. It's going to be Mexico, the greater Mexico. Amazing. I, I, can, I can speak to that. I can attest that. I've had people shoving it in my face. This is stolen land, and we're taking it back. And I say, no, you're trying to steal it. We're taking it back. You know, I, since I'm a teacher, I have to uh, ask this question to these two gentlemen. I already know where you stand. But, you know, um, I, something happened today in school. You know, I work in a high school. I won't mention which one but in L.A. Unified. So there was a situation where I had to go to a classroom and the kids were uh, all sitting there disrespecting the teacher. It was very disruptive, and the teacher told me that. So I basically said, asked the kids, I said, kids, um, you know, what is the purpose of, our, of our, our being here? Why are we here? Why do we pledge our allegiance to the uh, flag? And they say, well, we don't say the Pledge of Allegiance anymore. I said, yeah, that's right, I forgot. You guys don't say it anymore. So if we said the pledge, what would be the reason to say it? And then boy stands up, I'm not American. I'm not even an American. Okay, then these are all mostly Latino. Okay, so the point I want to make is, when I ask you guys this question, uh, this country, the founding principles of our country is what set these laws in place. The Declaration of Independence is the org organizing principle of the Constitution of limited government. So my question to you would be, do you think it's a, a, a racist government based on what the founders gave us, or is it something that we should continue to keep in this country? To that's, make a, good? that's a good question, man. Good question. I like it. I like it when, uh, I, 
I like it when black people ask good questions. <laughs> make, so do make I. Make me proud. So uh, the, my short answer to that question is yes, I believe in the Constitution. I think it's a, I think it's a fine Constitution. I think America is a fantastic country. Uh, I also think that uh, that things change over time, and that uh, and that the country has been made better by amendments to the Constitution in the past. So, uh, so I believe strongly in the Constitution. Uh, I, I think the founders didn't have everything right, but they they, they did a damn good job, and uh, they created a hell of a country. And I'm I'm glad that uh, glad that I live here, and I, apparently uh, Byron's glad that he lives here, and, and so is Arthur, obviously. So, so we should we should all be proud of our country, and yeah. we should also respect the fact that it's okay to have differences, yeah. even on very important issues like this. Uh, so uh, so again, uh, I've, I've got no problem personally with with uh, kids saying the pledge. Uh, look, I just want to say you're kind of making the point that all these. Uh, illegals or whatever you want to call them, immigrants, immigrants, I'll grant you your terms, these, these immigrants are so great. They're such great people. They contribute so much. We're lucky to have them. If they're that great, it's wrong of us to take them from their countries because they could be contributing to their countries. And then the second thing is uh, we can all agree people like being around people similar to themselves. I'm just asking, is it racist, evil, whatever, if white people wanted America to stay majority white? That's a good question. That is a really good question. What do you say? Well, are, are, you, are, you, are you afraid of change? That's not a question. Uh, yeah. no, answer his question. Don't give him a question. No, the question is, the question is, is it racist for white people to want America to stay majority white? You know, I'm not the arbiter of what's racist, what's right, what's not. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's not an opinion. That's not an opinion I share. So I, I, I don't, yeah. Can yeah. I ask you a question? Say? What do you say? Can I ask you a question? How old are you, by the way? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. Okay. And uh, what area do you live in here in Los Angeles? Uh, I live like right around here. So like Midtownish, right? Okay. Okay. Would you have a problem if I was your neighbor? No. Okay. But you're saying that the rest of the country would mind. There are definitely people who would mind, and they're Why afraid would they to mind? say that because people like to be around people, people like themselves. Right. And white people. So you don't believe have in diversity. Characteristics you don't believe in diversity. Every race. I do believe in diversity. That's why I believe there are differences between the races. Okay. That's so diversity. why can we? Um, you know, why can I be a and part look, of those do communities? Do me a favor and answer that because I I'm, I got to end it. And now. I want to answer too. So I got to move and, faster. And, I, and unfortunately, uh, Jess, uh, unfortunately, Jess, uh, I'm turning into a pumpkin. So I'm going to have to leave. But I, I I thank you for allowing me to be here tonight and to and to speak my mind on it. Right. Thank, thank you all you. very all much. All right. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. you have one question for you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I would. I just want to. I just want to tell everybody right here. I am from Spanish and Mexican descent. I am a hard Republican. My parents came to this country because they, because my family from Spain left a dictatorship under Franco. Yep. My Mexican side left from Mexico because they knew it was by what Donald Trump calls it. What do we call it? A shithole. <laughs> they left to this country. And here's one thing. Here's the one problem that I do have. My parents left to this country because it's different, because it's not the same from where they left. The reason that they're here is because they know that this country, like I say, is different. And my one problem is that all these new wave of illegal immigrants want to make it into the country they left in the first place. Exactly. I don't want a country. We have to keep our identity. There's few things that made this country great. It is a nation of laws. It is a nation where the law and order prevails over all. I don't have a problem with anything. It's just that I really don't want the country where I'm born and the country that my parents came from being the same where they left. What was your name again? Byron. Byron. What's your name? Gerald. Gerald. Nice to meet you, Gerald. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, I just want to give you a peek on the perspective on the other side of the fence. Okay. okay? Uh, I'll t you want to know who the most outraged in this country are at this, uh, at this problem? Are legal immigrants like myself. They came over here and busted my ass. Okay? Me and my mother came over here. We put in our time. And we now have a piece of paper on our wall called a naturalization certificate. Okay? And for you to sit up there... And for this gentleman here to ask you how long your parents have been here illegally and for you to give him a condescending answer of none of your business, okay, well, you know what? Your illegal parents can take you and yourself back to wherever you guys came from, okay? Thank you. No. No, don't yell at me. I think it's a general question. Hey. I'll be here, my kids will be here, my grandkids will be here, and La Raza will continue up in this place. So you hear the race card. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. My people will that's be it. here, and we you will see the agenda together. really coming we forward. We will live together. 
You oh, just heard it. Together. We will live together. You just we heard it. Live together. It oh, is no. essentially oh, racist. We'll oh, be I together. have never. Where are you from? Unity is the Where only way I'm from Philippines. in which we can oh, move okay. forward. Unity is the only way okay. in which oh, we no. can move forward. Oh, Unity no. is you the only that. way in which we can move forward. What I had forward. talked about, there's no oh, interest in no unity in this room. Oh, no. I'm oh, sorry, no. there is no unity in this oh, no. room, but that's the only oh, no. way there is very much in unity. which we can move there forward. There is unity in this room. That's the only we way. are very much of a consensus oh, no. on this yeah. move forward. So we are that, very uh, united on this issue. It's the only way we'll move forward. Unity. Hold up. Unity is the only hey. way we will move forward. I really commend you for getting up there. This takes a lot of courage. Can you start? Okay. Yeah. But here's the thing. If you, if you think about the law, it doesn't say if you are a dreamer, if you have a dream. It doesn't say if my mother brought me here and I don't know, and I didn't know I was illegal. It doesn't say um, I'm being persecuted or whatever. It doesn't say any of that. It just says if you come here illegally, you've broken the law. And so, so you... So you were saying, well, how do I get out of that? You have to think about it. And this is what I would like to see from people that have come illegally. Yeah, you know what? It's not your fault. My parents brought me here, and I'm illegal. What am I going to do about that? If you come here illegally, you're breaking the law, period. I don't want to hear like, well, I came here. and they, they, I, I get it. We get it. Well, but on, until gosh. you start with the truth, yes. You cannot have dialogue right. until you admit that, right. even for your parents. And right. I know what happened, and I, and I totally get it, because you're emotionally attached to your parents. They gave you birth. They got you here. I get it. But they broke the law. Okay. You want to respond? They are coming in Thank with you. the truth. Am I going to respond to that? or? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> And they're, coming, and they're coming in with the truth. And the truth is that they want to engage in a conversation with people from... I mean, here's the truth. People want to engage in a conversation with all of you. But we can't have a conversation if all of us... We, we can't have a conversation if you're going to act that way. No, hold on, hold on. See, we, we can't, I can't have a conversation if everyone's okay. talking at the same time. Byron, I got to so get you the question. what's the point of yeah. me You're right. engaging you didn't have a question. That's, Hold on, the I'm same coming. thing that Shut Brian it, did. I'm sorry. So this is my cousin, John. This is the one you were talking about? <laughs> this is the one I asked, where you been? He tell me where he's going. He is a liberal Democrat. He loves the fall of Messiah and all that stuff. So, John, what do you got to say about all you've heard today? Um, I came, I came to, to basically just listen. Okay. I just wanted to. That's the first time in history. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, that's, and, and, and basically, I, I agree with the young man. If you're gonna if you're gonna deal with something as as complicated as this, thank you. You got to have a dialogue. Yeah. You can't come in with a mindset where you basically have your mind made up. No, nothing new can come into it. And that's what I hear, I see here. You know what? I, I see. I you know see, what? See, look, you're talking everyone about, is you're talking, talking about, when he's you're speaking. talking about immigration. People have migrated. When things are bad in one place, people go to another place. If things are bad for my family in this place, I'm going to another place. So okay. let me ask, are you for putting up a big beautiful? I already no. know the answer. No. It's, you're not for the wall. That is the dumbest. To put I, up the wall. Have, it, it's dumb. The point is, we're exactly. all humans on this earth. Okay. And when things are bad in one place, they come to another place. That's just the way life is. It you is. know it is. Try to make it simple. No, you it can is say not. we're going to put up a big wall. Some but people the fight in their country. not going to solve the problem. They fight back. We're, that is not we're, true. This place, can at you, one time, can you all listen? Europeans were illegal. Can you all here. please well, listen? Uh, listen to this. Please. This is where the rebel meet the road. Say that again. This is why we can't get I anything done time, because we talk this over place, other people. We're in Mexico. At no, we're not. This is time. not Mexico. No. All right. Sit down. It's called the Treaty of Guadalupe you know, Hidalgo. I've been Look it up. Be respectful. Since I got here. Um, he's about to speak. Please. Hold on. Shh. A few more. I know where this gentleman is coming from because you're a proud Latino. Okay, am I right? you guys right? need to be quiet. You guys need to be quiet. Listen. Hey. Right? Absolutely, yeah. So am I. But I'm going to yeah. tell you what the difference is. Go ahead, please. Because I'm a proud American Latino. That's right. Oh. Born in Mexico. The reason why you act the way you're acting or the the way you feel, the way you're feeling, is because as a Latino, we're supposed to stick together. Mm -hmm. He's an immigrant. He's illegal. So what? He's a Latino. He's, he needs to be here. That's why you answer the way you answer. But let me tell you something. 
Latinos, I love my race because I was born in Mexico, all right? The problem is we're racist, man, and I'm going to tell you why. I got my Trump hat on. I walk in, a bunch of Latinos, they see me, KKK, Nazi, all this bullshit, right? And you know how I stop that? Oye, papá, ¿cómo que yo soy Nazi? Yo nací en México. And that throws the narrative off because they go, oh, shit. Right, right. Now I'm a sellout. Now I'm a what did you just say? I said, how in the hell can I be a Nazi if I was born in Mexico? You know, so that, that they hate that. They hate that. So I'm a proud Latino, too, right. but I'm an American first. Brother. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Are you an American yeah, first? Oh, I'm American. No, no, no. no. Are you an American first? Oh. Yes or no? They both come together first time. Oh, wrong. That's the truth. They both come. They, they both, yeah. And that's they part of the okay. reason Hold our on. culture's under Hold attack. On. They both come first. They you both have come com first. You Actually, have all three of them come first. Loyalties. All three of them come oh, first. Oh, all three oh. of them come first. One, uh, this is to the wall because we haven't talked about it, but a very narrow-minded idea is that the wall is going to stop people from coming into this country. It also will save lives. It'll keep thousands of people deterred from making hundreds of miles through the desert and dying under cap the capture of coyotes, cartels, and other people. I'm not saying that the government's going to be able to battle every cartel, but it'll stop families, children, and other people from crossing and child trafficking, sex trafficking, from coming over. It's a deterrence. It's not a 100% uh, um, fix, but it's a huge deterrence. Thank you, sir. I was kind of in the middle on immigration until I saw your type that would say, we're not going to go anywhere. We don't care. This is our country. Yeah. I live in Santa Ana, <laughs> Orange County, and I've seen it my whole life. I would ask, why isn't our city like another city? It's because we don't care about America. We care about Mexicans, our people. No, I and care I didn't, about I didn't, Americans. I, don't like, I hear it every day. No. Orange yeah. County. You just, just said La Raza. Viva La Raza. You were talking about La Raza. I, I hear La Raza and every single conflict. day. And, and, and you when, said when that. I, when I, that's offensive. Okay? You said right. Trump. That was I would see for videos, me. make Santa Ana, Mexico yeah. again, yeah. F white people. I don't like that. Because <laughs> you can't say that somebody's racist. So you're saying I said that? No, no. Are you saying no, your my type. people in, our your people type. in general? Your type. Yeah. Well, you I, mean see, I, I know, I know your type. Okay. You act okay. all sad on camera, but, uh, but behind the lines, you... you, you you talk in front while people are talking, so... That's okay. That's okay. She hold on. Hold you. on. That's why. Hold on. Upset. That's I'm, I'm mad that my start. grandparents came here the right way, and you guys pretend like you could just come in and, and make the law. I don't want California to be Mexico again. I want California to be California. Neither did the Mexicans. America. Did the you Mexicans didn't want this to be Mexico. They oh. wanted it to be America. You can look at the history oh. on this. I just wanted to say, I think, um, when you talk about the wall and all these other things, I think it's disingenuous because I don't think it's going to stop anything. Number one, if America was really serious about immigration, all that would have to do, the big donors and the people that own these companies, if they made it illegal to hire illegal immigrants and really enforce yes. the laws that are on the books. It, listen, but if, if the people that back both the Republican and Democrat administrations would actually enforce the laws, there would be no illegal immigration in here tomorrow. And the reason why they do not, because they need the cheap labor, and it's built on it. So I think it's, I think it's just a, I, the, the Democrats and the Republicans want the cheap labor. So it's, it's, it's a super complicated issue, and I think things no, like the wall, and you want to make these simple arguments. It, it, it is funded, this thing is funded by the people that really own this country, and if nobody is interested in getting rid of illegal immigration. When we are, we are. You we may are. be, but you don't have the power or the money to really enforce the laws to do it. Yes, that's correct. Paying for you to, and the people that are paying for you to think that, listen to, listen to what I'm saying. Really? Listen to what I'm saying. you to think that way? This is the problem. This is the problem. It's not about CNN. The people that own CNN and yeah. Fox News all believe the same thing. No, they They all believe don't. the same thing. Because they could stop this tomorrow if they wanted to. Thank you, bro. I've been to Mexico in the past, uh, back and forth about four times in the past six months. Um, completely free college education. Completely free. So they don't have to come here and take it from the white kids or the black kids. Completely free. 
I came to this country from Central America uh, because of a hurricane. Mm -hmm. And I stayed in New York. I was given a student visa. Yeah. It's called a law. They let me in. My country was destroyed. Right. And then my student visa ran out. I was in a state of panic. We had to leave to go back to Central America. Because mm -hmm. it's a state, it's, it's laws. So I was in Mexico, mm -hmm. and I had to have my visa mm -hmm. to get into there. If I didn't have my visa, I, could, I was going to be thrown in jail. I didn't pay. I lost the little ticket. Right. So you come over here, you make it in, and I get to take your job, your kid's future. Yep. And I can't stay in Mexico. I have six months. I got to get out. They have complete education. I see people cleaning the streets. So at 14 years old, I flew to Canada. And I became a permanent resident. And that man looked me in my face. And he said, here's the deal. You're going to support this country. You don't go and riot against this country. You don't protest against this country. Right. Thank you. And you know what? I didn't, and any time I see someone like you who believes you can walk into somebody else's house yeah. and just live there, I was born I here, by the way. It. So that man made me swear I was, born here. I was going to be First a. Of all, I, was I was not born, born here. here, and I was given directions, right. and I was given so was I. rules as to right. how to act. I wasn't born here, though. Okay. Someone gave me an yeah. opportunity, right. and I put myself through college. Yeah. I got married. Yeah. I put my daughter through school. Yeah. But guess what? She can't go to Mexico. She can't go to Honduras and just go sit down there because she wants to. You Jeremy have that no we are right. Out here you have no right. Let her finish. Listen to me. Oh, you ha you are on stage. You have no so. right to not answer a question if your parents speak English or not. My family all speak English. They all spoke Spanish. So I am telling you, I cannot go and sit in Mexico. I cannot go to Nicaragua and go plop myself in that country. Mexico, the Mexicans have land. The Chinese, they have a country called China. The people in Jamaica, they have a country. You have a country. I have a country. And I knocked on their door, and they said, are you going to do right? And I said, yes, I'll follow your rules, sir. And I'm 60 years old, and I have done everything. I've never been arrested. I've done everything that's been asked of me. My husband has never been in trouble. My daughter has never been in trouble. Absolutely. You cannot walk into somebody else's country and demand, based on whatever treaty, Anawak, Samawa, whatever it is, it don't go like that. This is the new deal. Right. This is America. And, and I'm an American amen. first. Amen. Wow. Uh-huh. And, and, I, and I respect that. I respect that. Hey, Byron. That, your Byron. Byron. I got that a question for, for you. Quick question. If uh, your parents robbed a bank for 200K. I would never do. If, but if they had <laughs> robbed a bank, which is illegal, it's a crime, right. and they got caught... Would you get to keep the money, or would it should be given back? Should get back. Okay, so when your parents broke the law coming in here, don't you think that maybe something should be given back? Yeah, they pay taxes. Okay, but they broke the law. Right. I mean, you can rob a bank and yeah. still like you know, you know, be nice yeah. to people yeah. there, but still you yeah, broke they, the law. They, they, That's another. Thank you. Yes, they pay sir. taxes. Okay, nobody. That's else another major canard. Listen, a lot of no, illegals are not paying taxes. Oh, they take more money out through the earned income tax credit. That's but not right. true. Where do I start? The last eight years made our country so divisive yes. that it's unbelievable and racist. Yes, absolutely. Our schools are no longer schools where you go and learn something or where you can think on yourself. You are indoctrinated. You are a prime, prime person that went through our school system and got totally indoctrinated. You can only say what they are telling you to say, and you don't even realize it anymore. That's what's sad. And that's the words that came out of your mouth are totally racist. First off, I'd like to say I worked as security at LA Unified School District. They are putting up fences all around schools. Don't tell me walls don't work. They work. Second, for those that say immigrants come here and work, and they're productive. 
That money is going back to Mexico. Yeah. The comment yeah. is $25 billion of money is not staying in the states, it's going back to Mexico. That means we are being harmed by those people who are taking the money out of the community. And last right. one, you said, when was America great? Every emergency, whether yes. it's a tsunami, an earthquake, or anything, Thank you. we are the first country there giving the most, being great to restore them. Amazing. This has been amazing, huh? Yes, it yes. has. A lot of people got a lot off their chest. And so now we're on our way back to greatness again. We got the great white hope in the White House now. We got to support him and stand with him, all right? So thank you all again for coming. Have a good night, and I appreciate it. I wish I was in Tijuana, eating barbecued iguana. I take requests on the telephone. I'm on a wavelength far from home. I feel a hot wind on my shoulder. I dial it in from south of the